how's it going today? Uh, I'm just gonna show you the new tank that I was talking about in one of the last videos. We're gonna show you the 75 gallon planted that me and the girlfriend worked about three hours on the other day. Um, you'll be able to see the difference for sure. You can see when the bichers were in it, it was all just kind of plants everywhere and no real structure, but I really, really enjoy how this scape came out. It's definitely one of my favorite scapes I have ever done. Uh, I hope you guys appreciate it as much as I do, and uh, let's get into the video. So there's actually a little bit of structure to the tank now. Got the wood. We go from large, medium, a little bit smaller to small. We got some Anubius Nana actually planted on that. It's, it's gripped on there pretty well. So you're going to see there's a little nicks and stuff. The betas, it was kind of a little trial and error. We decided to try the betas with this, but we haven't even been feeding heavily at all, but they're just... If, if, if any of you own betas, I'm, I'm gonna try and be nice here. They're dumb. They're super dumb. They, they'll just overeat themselves to death. So as you can see this red one, I'm not trying to hide anything at all either because it's trial and error, right? Um, so he's got a big, that, the female's got a big belly. They're actually all female betas. You can tell they started to squabble a little bit. So some of, her, some of them are chewed up pretty hard actually. But they're gonna be moved into their own 10 gallon uh, quite soon here. So that there won't be any more and they'll grow their fins back and do all fine together and everything like that. I just thought they'd do better in here to be honest. So yeah, I'll just give you a nice little pan of it here. Just so you can kind of see the scape and then we can get into some fish here. I just wanted to throw the betas out there because I knew there was going to be somebody saying something. <laughs> But yeah, don't worry, none of them are gonna die. We'll put them into their own tank and they will do just fine in there and they will all heal up. So, we got a bunch of corkscrew val in this front corner here. Um, we got a nice Anubius planted inside the wood. This is that same Amazon sword that was in there. It's got that huge offshoot going up and then it actually shot another one up this way. So it's really taken off. Lots of red swords back there. We got our bulb plants growing really nice. And then the whole back wall is lined with uh, corkscrew valve. I know you can still see the heater, but as you can see, I've planted a lot back there. So it just needs a little minute to grow. Um, there's mystery snails in this one as well. Since he's out, I'll get this guy quick. We got two little red lizard whip tails. Super cute little fish. They're always moving, always out. Apparently they'll get to about two inches. As you can see right now though, he's pretty small. He's maybe an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Really tiny. Um, I've been waiting for these for quite some time. Uh, these are the Brochiatus Coris. So these are one of the larger species of Corydoras. These guys can, can get up to about three, three and a half inches. So that'll be really neat to see. They have like an armor plating on their side and it's a really nice green shimmer. Just a gorgeous fish. And then I have been waiting forever. I finally got my rummy nose school. We got about 40 rummy nose in here. Um, 15 red eye or lamp eye tetras. Um, five betas, which like I said, they're coming out. And then these are really cool. I've never actually even like heard of or seen these before. They don't look great. Here, I'll see if I can. Pull the light forward a little bit more. They still have a lot of growing to do, but these are the super blue uh, carry emperor tetras. So they, they're gonna get really bluey purple. If they went back to the light, in the backlight, they look a lot better, but they're all ripping on the onips right now because I figured I'd bring them all to the front to show you guys. And the onips are absolutely awesome. If any of you own small fish, put your hand in the tank, stick her to the glass, and as you can tell, everything loves it. Betas are eating. Rummy nose are eating. We got shipped <laughs> one monstrosity of a black neon with our Emperor Tetras. There's our nice male right here. He's still, they got a lot of growing left to do. Like these, we only got these guys about a week and a half ago now. So they got lots of growth yet to do. But yeah, this takes nice and simple. Just lots of plants, lots of smaller to medium sized Tetras. We got the 110 hang on the back still on here and then just the sponge filter in the back left corner. But I absolutely just love this tank. I think the scape just looks really pretty. 
breaks breaks up the water column a lot so that the tetras have lots to swim around and swim in between and swim through so once this tank really grows out and the plants start to take off I, I I'm just gonna love it I know it looks like there's a lot of fish in here right now but again that's because the onips are at the front and everything's corrugated into that same spot so But yeah, that is the 70, the new 75 gallon planted tank. Uh, and we'll have a video coming soon of the new, the new tank that the Bichers are in as well. But yeah, I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys like this scape as much as I like it and like the fish. I've always been a big lover of Rummy Nose. We just never really bought the bullet and bought a big school until now and I absolutely love it. They school really nice too. I'll take another video to add into this video when there's no ONIPs in there so that you can see how the tank kind of normally functions, I guess you could say. But yeah. So the next clip will be that clip and then I'll end it. So I just came down here like an hour later or whatever once all the ONIPs are gone. You can see everybody's school is pretty nice. They school a lot better when they don't see me here because I think they're going to get fed right now again. But you can see the whole back of the tank is unused, so it's definitely not overstocked. And for the amount of plants we have in here and for how small the fish are, good to go. I just, I love rummy nose, they're just so beautiful. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I uh, hope you guys liking all the new scapes and all the tanks and all the videos. I really appreciate all all of the comments and all of the all of the love I've received so far. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and don't forget to like and oh oh wait a minute. I forgot to show you. We have nano gars in here. The little half beaks, they're actually a live bear. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.